Hello everyone, my name is Craig Dempsey, Technical Director of SNS Northern. I'm going to talk to you through a few possible faults uh, that may come up on a Merlin 1250 and how to resolve them on site. So at the moment you can see the board, if you walk into a kitchen and you can see this, it suggests everything's working fine on the panel. But I'm going to go through a few fault scenarios and get you a better understanding on how to resolve them. So if for example you come to a kitchen and the extract fan is flashing, that shows that the panel cannot see uh, the extract fan current or a PD switch. And if that's the case, it's showing you that the extract fan is in fault and indicates on there. So what you need to do is check, first of all, that the extract fan is running. That works in exactly the same way for the supply fan. So if you come to turn the system on and the supply fan's flashing, that means that you've got an issue with your supply fan. So if you look on a PCB, the extract fan is on the right hand side of the PCB and the supply fan's on the left hand side. I'll go into more detail with that shortly. Um, if you come into a kitchen and that is lit up, I'll just mute that. That means that someone's either pressed this button and that will be slightly, um, slightly inserted. So if that's the case, just take the button out and uh, just reset the panel and you should be good to go. Or alternatively, if that button is fine and it's still flashing up as emergency stop like that, that means that a remote emergency stop button's been pressed and you have to look around the room and maybe like a, a yellow stop button that says gas shut off on it or a more traditional mushroom type stop button just needs resetting and you should be good to go. If you see the service light illuminated, that means that someone's actually been inside the panel and switched on a service mode, which gives the, um, it's for engineers when they're setting up the gas valve, it gives them four hours of gas to do all the tests on the pipe work without turning on the ventilation. If that is indicated, that means someone's been messing inside the panel and that needs to be reset. As I mentioned before, from a fault finding point of view, if you have no power light on at all, check this terminal here and check this live get into it. Um, and check this power at the board. That's the most first things to check. If it is emergency stop, um, light keeps coming on the one on the front of the panels reset and fine but it may be two wires coming out of this one here em rem if you remove the two wires put a link in reset the system if it comes on then you know at the other end of those two wires is a stop button or maybe a fire alarm that's been activated and it's given an open circuit if you've got fan fault issues first of all check just here when the fans are on, these two LEDs should illuminate. And what that indicates is that the panel is seeing the current going to the fan. If these are not on, make sure your fans are working as expected. And then adjust these potentiometers. Normally turn them slightly clockwise and those lights should come on. When those lights come on, it means that the panel can see the fan current. If you have any further questions on this product and anything I haven't covered, drop a comment below or give us a call at SNS Northern, which is 01257 470 983. Thank you.